Let me tell you about the day I lost control of my life and made 12 different flavors of homemade gummy bears. Is making your own gummy bears from scratch kind of fun? Sure, yeah. But if you do decide to make homemade gummy bears, homemade gummy bears, you should be prepared to confront a darkness that lies deep inside you that you never knew was there. It all started when I learned you can buy gummy bear molds from the internet. I had the epiphany that you can make a gummy bear that tastes like anything you want. You just add gelatin. Literally anything can be a gummy bear. Any drink can be a gummy bear. Any cocktail can be a gummy bear. Anything you can blend in a blender can be a gummy bear. And once you realize that the world of gummy bears is basically limitless, you'll never be the same again. The main ingredient in homemade gummy bears is gelatin. Gelatin's like having a superpower. You can use it for good and evil. With gelatin, you can basically solidify anything you want, but it's dangerous because while you can jellify pretty much any food, the question is, should you? So when it comes to gummy bear flavors, I thought I would start out with some of your classic fruit flavors like blueberry, strawberry, but I realized I could do something like tomato juice or a Bloody Mary gummy bear or even a bone broth gummy bear or clam juice even, why not? Like, if you really wanted to, you could make savory gummy bears. I don't know why you would, but you could. The first thing I did was I went to the grocery store and I bought all the gelatin they had. That's not an exaggeration. I literally cleaned them out and I would eventually use it all. The process for making homemade gummy bears is pretty simple. You mix up your liquid and your gelatin, you put it into the molds using a little dropper, then you just put it in the fridge for a few hours and let it set. But it can go wrong. My first batch of gummy bears, which was strawberry, was a huge batch of gummy failure. On my first batch, I only used a little bit of gelatin and it made the bears weak and soft and kind of slimy. And no one's ever said, oh, I love gummy bears, but I wish they were wetter. So I needed to crank the gelatin way up. So once I finally got over my fear of gelatin and used a bunch of it, they actually started to look like gummy bears. And my first batch of successful bears that actually looked like real gummy bears was a Manhattan cocktail flavor. They had whiskey, maraschino cherry syrup. I wanted them to taste like an episode of Mad Men. And I feel like if Don Draper tried these, he would spit them into the trash. You ask me if I like it. I don't. But I thought they tasted good, and they actually looked like real gummy bears. The most difficult part of the process is actually taking the bears out of the mold. You have to take each tiny bear out individually, and it takes forever. Once I nailed the formula, I just kept making more bears in new and more exotic flavors, and I couldn't stop. There was creamsicle, there was matcha, there was coffee, there was apple cider for fall, there was rosé, there was even a margarita bear with tequila, lime, and salt. So a tiny voice in my head kept saying, maybe you should stop making gummy bears now, but I couldn't stop. I just kept thinking of new flavors I wanted to try, and I spent hours taking little bears out of molds, making gummy bears, I just, I could not stop. So I'm almost too embarrassed to say how many gummy bears I made. I don't really want people to know that this is how I spent my time, but I made a thousand gummy bears. That's too many gummy bears. I would recommend homemade gummy bears probably to no one, but if you have a really interesting flavor you wanna try, or if you wanna make a very slightly healthier alternative to candy, it's a good thing to try. But mostly, you should make homemade gummy bears if you wanna feel powerful. Like the rules of candy don't apply to you and you wanna make hundreds of tiny edible bear friends. Do I think that making homemade gummy bears was a good use of my time? No. But am I glad I did it? Sure, why not?